hello guys welcome to teach me channel in this video i will show you how to configure a kubernetes cluster with new relic so i have a kubernetes cluster running so one master node and one worker node i have configured with kubedium and you can see these are the cube system ports are running in namespace default this ports are running so this is a basic configuration so kubernetes kubedium uh, cluster here i have given one watch command to see how many ports are running and this one is the worker node i just give a docker command to see what are the containers running in the worker node okay now i will go to the new relic website just www.newrelic.com okay open it open the website and go to here okay give a your name any name okay and then your mail id to create your account in the new relic okay then sign up so here i can see check your email so go to the email to verify your account okay yeah you can see one mail has come go to the mail you'll have to verify it okay then click on verify mail so you can it will lead you to the So it will lead you to another uh, window. So create your password. Okay. Then save the password. Select your region. It is giving United States or Europe. Only well, two regions are showing. Anyway, take United States and save. So this one is the free account. Uh, so paid account is also there. You can go for paid account also. So I have created this one you can go to create account create a free account here okay so now go to the new relic what it is showing it is showing the all the tabs you can see so welcome to New relic it is showing here you can see now you can connect to kubernetes or choose another way to collect your matrices events logs and traces so just it's a welcome node skip it okay if you go to the infrastructure you can see here one kubernetes cluster explorer is there click it Here you can see there is no cluster configured yet.
you can see so these are the steps you can use to configure your kubernetes with new relic okay so this one is the license key that will that is required this is how to configure your kubernetes integration if you give your cluster name and the namespace you want where to deploy your agent so he there will be one agent that that pod need to be run in your cluster so it will give one manifest file it will create so here they are uh, already mentioning that they will create your manifest file to deploy into your cluster okay so i will follow another way in kubernetes document is uh, in uh, new relic documentation you can see here i'll i'll uh, give this link to the description okay you can see like custom manifest so here first we'll have to deploy new relic infra and another one pod we'll have to run is install cube state matrix okay then copy this go to the master machine paste it here sorry it is logged out okay no problem okay now paste the command okay you can see the pod is created and it is running now okay it is now up okay so this matrix pod need to be there in the kubernetes cluster so next step is go to the second step download the manifest file so this is the manifest file for the new relic infrastructure you will have to get the link then go to here and paste it so what you get one yml file okay so open that manifest file here you can see there are a lot of configurations they are already configured like service account they will create cluster role then cluster role binding so these are already configured by default what we have to do is this one environment what we have to do we'll have to give the cluster name okay to get the cluster name what i will do by kubectl get kubectl cluster info okay okay so the kubernetes cluster name i will have to find out so get this and then grab cluster name okay you can see the cluster name is kubernetes okay go to the manifest file now here go to this port environment section and give your kubernetes cluster name that is this one okay then our next thing is give the license key of your new relic go to the new relic here you already have this license key copy this license key okay and then paste it here okay so your job is done now save it and go to the third step the third step is you can see the license key i have put the cluster name i have given 
then you can run this but it's not mandatory it's just to see the metrics that server is running or not okay sorry this is not copied anyway copy it and then you can see i clear the screen okay you can see the matrix uh cube state matrix server is running so this should run then only we'll get the matrices so now the six step this is demonstrate so we'll have to run that edited manifest file as a demo set so create that so the port will be creating you can see new relic infra is running now okay now go to the dashboard go to infrastructure go to the kubernetes cluster explorer so your cluster is configured in the new relic you can see the cluster is showing the name is of the cluster is kubernetes okay you will get all the matrices now it will take some five to ten minutes to get all the logs from the cluster you can see 